Start Mistakes Part 4, The Analysis and Plan. This is the management of how to take care of a man on steroids. To review, this is the conclusion of a four-part series in which a healthcare provider needs to take care of a man on steroids. Starts off with history, physical exam, laboratory and studies, and now the management. In a quick review, the history starts off with a detailed analysis and intake of a man using steroids. You have to focus the history on what steroids, what are their agents, PCT, SARMs, peptides, prohormones. You have to focus on his mood, libido, sex, and obviously medical issues with that history. There's a history of present illness. There is a chief complaint. There's a past medical history for a man, general state of health, childhood illnesses, immunizations, adult medical and psychiatric issues, hospitalizations, surgical procedures, blood transfusions, motor vehicle accidents, head traumas, psychosocial history, sexual history, family history, medications, present and in the past, including supplements, allergies to medications, and a detailed review of systems. Please see that video. Next is going to be the physical exam, where you start off with vital signs, so important, and then you conduct a focused physical exam on a man looking for what steroids can do to his body. Next piece is the labs and studies. The labs are going to be very important to put together. CBC, Comprehensive Metabolic Panel, Hemoglobin A1C, a lipid panel, maybe an advanced lipid panel. See that video. Your analysis, a PSA, a TSH, or maybe a full thyroid panel. A testosterone assessment, total and free. Very important to get this. The free testosterone is going to be imperative. By a liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy dilution method. Also an estrogen, a total estrogen. And by the same ultra-sensitive technology. Specialized studies, for me, always focuses on the heart and the kidney. The heart, coronary artery calcium score, echocardiography, very important. Now that brings us to part four, which is how do you put all this together? You've got the studies, you've taken your history, got your labs, put it together, doctor. How do you put it together? Number one, you respect the man. We respect other people that have used heroin, cigarette smoking, they're obese, other medical issues. We respect people that have diabetes. We respect people that have heart disease, continue to smoke. We respect people that have depression and other psychiatric illnesses. This, number one, is going to require respect, please. We have to address the underlying issues of why the man's use steroids. These are not professional people that are using, professional baseball players that are using a drug to perform so much better, to make more money and to stay as a professional athlete. That, that's not a psychotropic issue. These are psychotropic issues. You have to address the biodysmorphia. And there are always very straightforward ways to do this. You're loving and respectful. And you ask a man to discontinue his steroids. Door number one. Door number two, you offer ancillary agents. It's PCT. It's medical grade PCT. You can use HCG, and there's a lot of data on this now. Clomid, Novadex, there's a role for aromatase inhibitors. If you'd like to deal with fertility and these medicines don't work, you bring in a fertility urologist or some expert that can help you. Brevell and Overdrill, recombinant analogs of FSH and LH. Please see this video. And the last door is switching a patient and monitoring to weaning doses of testosterone esters, sipinate and enanthate. Those are the main models and the main methodologies and medicines that can be used. Again, because we're dealing with an underlying biodysmorphia, in most cases we have to bring on board a psychiatric consultation expert. They may or may not have depression or mania. If they do, 
we're going to have to use possibly some other medicines, some antidepressant medicines or mania, mood stabilizing medicines. I see this, please. I'm consulting right now with physicians all over the world like this, with these men. Psychotropic uh, therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy. So those are the talking doctors and the physical doctors, psychiatrists and psychologists. I use them all the time. But the caregiver, the main caregiver, has to coordinate. You have to coordinate. Next, we address the other medical issues. The acne, the gynecomastia, the heart, the prostate, the sex. As a man is on testosterone and he's weaning down, you have to watch him very closely. Or if he's on the ancillary medicines, you have to watch him closely. For acne, there are topical agents that you can use. You want to be very careful with Accutane. Topical agents like clenomycin, benzoyl peroxide, topical agents work well. You can bring in a dermatologist. Gynecomastia, change the testosterone dose. Watch the gynecomastia. Please make sure there's not a rare superimposed or a breast cancer. Send that to a general surgeon. Work with a general surgeon. You can microdose the testosterone. I find it works very well for men, actually. And if you have to use aromatase inhibitors and a selective estrogen receptor modulator like Novodex, you can. Just have a plan to potentially terminate. Don't leave these patients on these agents. And in the end, surgery. In the end, surgery is probably the best bet. Because most of this gynecomastia is going to be permanent and it will not go away. Thinking you're going to use an aromatase inhibitor to abolish is not going to work. You're going to end up hurting his heart potentially or his bones. That brings us to the heart. You're going to manage hypertension and lipids. Those are the two most important. Now, you've had the studies. You've had lipid studies. You've had comprehensive metabolic panel studies, not to mention CBC. You're going to look at the coronary calcium score and the echocardiography. And then with that, you're going to treat this man for all these issues at the same time. You're going to deal with his sexual issues because that's probably the number one issue for why the man is coming in. And he's, as he's coming down from a lot of steroids that are affecting his central nervous system and you're bringing him slowly down, his sex is going to change. You want to reassure him that you're going to stay with him and you're going to wean him. And in the end, he's going to feel fine. Most men can come down from even 10,000 values of what I've seen or greater on, on a lab test for testosterone. And you can bring them down to that upper limit normal somewhere around 700 to 1,000 on small doses of testosterone esters. And over time, that man will feel well. I promise that man will do well. But you have to monitor him. You have to coordinate this care with him. And that's what I do. And I've been doing it for over 10 years and I love doing this. It's so humble the effects that you can have when you really do it right and you care. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy.